Hi traders and welcome for today's recap. So I want to talk about one trade today and I think you can learn from it a lot. So first of all, let's start with today picks. Uh, I traded RUN, took it for a long. Uh, I entered RUN here above 23, took my first target when it spiked above 23.50. I took it 23.44 and then I waited, waited and I closed it here 23.20 before it spiked to a new high. So RUN one partial and then I closed it almost at my entry. That's why I'm up less than one risk unit because I didn't take full share size. Let's talk about CCJ. This is a uranium company from Canada and you know that I like uranium. So today I followed CCJ. I saw that we opened in a gap up, moved up sharply. I waited and waited. Okay, this is the VWAP. Okay, this is the candle I was looking for. Exactly this one. Beautiful armor on the VWAP, beautiful daily chart, beautiful gap above the 200 SMA. So I think, wait a second, this is an amazing trade. We have 10, 15 cents. I took it with a 10 cent stop loss. I took it with 10 cent stop loss, got me in one to two in five seconds. I waited, retest, and then I took my first target when it moved to 2490. And you can see I took another partial 24, uh, 2515 approximately here. And I just closed everything below 25. Now let's talk about Shopify. So well, one of the most familiar problem with traders, new traders, it's not problem that only new traders have, but it's much more familiar with new traders is FOMO. That's the problem, FOMO, fear of missing out. The market is open. They're watching Shopify. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, Shopify. Almost flat after it moved down yesterday like 20%. Moving up, they, they will say, okay, Shopify. I'm going to go long Shopify. And today pre-market, I said, guys, yesterday Shopify moved down sharply and they said they just fired 1,000 employees. So the stock dropped. But I think it's a good thing, right? It's a good thing for the business, maybe in the long run, right, to fire so many people maybe it's something good who knows and today i would like to go long shopify now the market opens shopify no entries right just moving up sharply we could take it above 32 but with what a 70 cent stop loss no oh come on still moving higher come on and new traders sometimes will just buy 500 shares 400 100 because they said oh my god i saw shopify at 32 and now it's already above 33. I could make $1, right? Only if. That's what you need to remember. So I said, okay, guys, Shopify. I didn't say I missed it. I said, okay, I'm still following Shopify. I'll wait for a pullback and then I'll take it. And then you can see what a small pullback. No, I don't want to place an alarm. Okay. What the... Oh, oh. That was too fast for me. I didn't take it. Also, the risk reward is not that good. You have one to one to two, but at the beginning of the day, it's not that bad. Not so bad. So I missed it. It was not pretty as I wanted. Okay. And when I'm trading stocks, I would like the chart to move exactly like I want them to move. And if the chart will not move like I want it to move, I would not take it. So I didn't take Shopify here and I continue to wait. No FOMO. I'm not missing anything. I'm waiting for the perfect trade. I waited already 33.20, no FOMO. 33.60, no FOMO. Okay, pullback. Okay. Still following Shopify for the last, what, 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. So here I started to place my orders. You can see the I is 33.15. Now let's open the trading room. Okay, I'm very green, thank you, TradeNet. Okay, so you can see that I posted Shopify for a long above 33.25, that was here above this candle, and then I posted it above 33.15, and then I posted it above 33 because I just followed, like, you know, opa. And here I said, okay. Oh, I, w I wanted to take it above this candle and then I moved it to this candle and then to this one and then to this one and I'm in. I waited 25 minutes, yeah, 25 minutes in order to take Shopify for a long and I took it with 30 cents stop loss, right? 30 cents, yeah, 
place my stop loss uh, 3270 yeah that was here 3270 30 cent stop loss okay one to one in three minutes beautiful and I took my first target, uh, actually I took my first target 33.50 and then I took another partial 34.50 and then I closed it below my entry point 33. So you can see also in CCJ actually, it's a good example also in CCJ, I waited for the perfect formation. I saw the CCJ moving up, I waited, 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 okay this is the candle I would like to trade, took it. Exactly the same in shop okay i waited for a pullback and this is the pullback i traded and actually i'll show you another example google i did not trade google today because i waited for a pullback and google didn't test the vwap here i said okay i'll wait for a pullback okay i'll wait for a pullback i wanted to touch the vwap didn't touch the vwap didn't take it okay here you can see this is exactly what i'm looking for but now that was 25 minutes ago 40 minutes ago i didn't take it but this is what you need to remember. If you think the stock will move higher today, don't force yourself to buy it. Wait for a good entry, wait for a pullback. No form of trading, because you can see what happened to me in CCJ and Shopify, both of them more than $2,600 because I was just patient enough and I waited and no form of for me. Guys, hopefully this video helped you and thank you for watching it. And if you're still here with me, Please press the thumb up and subscribe my channel. I'll see you all uh, tomorrow probably. Bye bye traders. Thank you for watching.